Hey everybody, Zach here and welcome back to the channel and in this video I am going to tell you why I am pushing to acquire 10,000 Cardano coins. Uh, why 10,000? Well, I'm going to tell you in this video because I think one day Cardano could be worth $100 per token and do the quick math, 10,000 times 100, yes. Uh, this is how you could become a Cardano millionaire. Now, more on that later. Uh, another reason why I want to get invested in Cardano, I'm going to talk about in this video, is that it's in the smart contract space, uh, like Ethereum, which I also like. I'm going to talk a little bit about that connection, how I feel like they're both uh, primed to have success in the next 10 to 20 years, as well as getting into some of the reasons why I like Cardano for the future and some price predictions later this year. So you're going to get all that in this video. And uh, thanks so much for stopping by the channel again. So glad to have you back. And if it's your first time popping in, welcome. And uh, hopefully you get some value out of this video. And uh, if you do, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Real quick, before we get into uh, the video, just want to mention that we do have the Patreon still rolling. And uh, we've got the supporter level as well as the insider level. And uh, if you uh, haven't uh, been here on the channel, just real quick, the supporter level, you got the Discord access, general support. Uh, insider, you're going to get all of that, plus buy and sell trade alerts and access to our group portfolio. That link is down below in the description. Go check that out if that's something that interests you. All right, so Cardano. Uh, what really makes Cardano unique is, number one, Charles Hoskinson, the founder, came from Ethereum. I think this is interesting because... He, along with Vitalik Buterin, really were the mastermind behind Ethereum. Now, they had a falling out because Hoskinson wanted to lead Ethereum in a more commercial direction and accept venture capital, whereas other you know, Ethereum founders wanted to take a less business-centered approach. And uh, that's really why he left. So Charles Hoskin, the, the current CEO of ADA, uh, which is the native token to Cardano, he left Ethereum because, well, they just had a different kind of philosophy on the future of the platform. So he comes over, creates Cardano, and Cardano is a blockchain centered around uh, the proof of stake model. And we're going to get into a little bit what that is. And one of the core pieces of Cardano's mission is its claim to be energy efficient. Okay. Um, now, the proof of stake algorithm that Cardano is working on is 20 times more efficient than Bitcoin's mining system. In energy usage, Cardano's bigger competitor is Ethereum. Ethereum is not widely energy efficient as things stand now. However, with Ethereum 2.0's upgrade and potentially working with Polygon and the Layer 2 solution, they look to fix that problem down the line. However, Cardano is still situated nicely. And something I hear all the time is, well, you got to pick one or the other, right? And Cardano's actually been deemed or named the, uh, the Ethereum killer, right? Or, but here's the thing, here's the thing, excuse me. I think there's room for both in the space, right? We're talking about smart contracts where Ethereum, Cardano, Polkadot, Solana, and Elrond all are situated and more. But those are really the big five. I think there's room for one and two and three and four and five big players, um, especially two, right? And those two, in my opinion, are going to be Ethereum and Cardano. That is why they're both the largest holdings in my personal portfolio. Uh, if you want to take a look at my entire portfolio, check that Patreon link down below. And But here's the thing. Uh, a couple reasons why I love Cardano. All right, Institutional money is slowly coming into Cardano. Slowly. Okay, It's really not in there yet, but it's slowly coming into Cardano. They've already come into Bitcoin. Now they're coming into Ethereum. What's the next step? It's Cardano. Institutional money, I believe in these next couple bull cycles, will start rushing into Cardano with Bitcoin and with Ethereum. Now, one thing we do have is the Grayscale Trust Fund just added Cardano and made it nearly 5% of their overall portfolio, which on the surface doesn't sound like much, but trust me, that is a big deal because before that, it was dominated by only essentially Bitcoin and Cardano. Of course, I'm sorry, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, they had XRP in there, but uh, yeah, they took it out because of the SEC stuff and insert Cardano. Chainlink's actually in there as well. Now, why do I want 10,000 Cardano? Well, it's quite simple, because I think down the line, whether it be five to 10 years, and I give that range because I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be five years, six years, seven years, but I do think in the next couple bull cycles for crypto, 
I do think Cardano can reach $100 per token. I can't pinpoint and say when that will exactly happen. However, if I can acquire 10,000 tokens, and I don't know how much I want to actually you know, spend on that, ideally around $10,000, $1 per token would be ideal, and I want to accrue this and acquire this over some time. I'm not there yet, but that's my goal, is to get 10,000 of these tokens, because I do think one day it will be worth $1. And that will be my exit strategy. And I hear, you know, I, I talk about this all the time on the channel. Always have an exit strategy for your various cryptos. And that exit strategy can be different for each and every asset. For me, that is kind of how I'm thinking about Cardano. It is a long-term hold for sure. Something I'm constantly buying on the dips. And that is my really big bull case for why I need 10,000 Cardano to eventually one day become a Cardano millionaire. Now, another reason why I love Cardano, and we're taking a look at the price here, but I'm really going to talk about their community here. Uh, their community is one of the most engaged groups of investors on the market. Uh, it's really easy to see, right? A lot of people in Bitcoin aren't going out there and touting Bitcoin every chance they get, right? They're just invested in it because they know it's the number one market cap. They know it's the future. They know it's the big player. Uh, and Ethereum is pretty similar. Right, um, We see large communities with various altcoins, such as Dogecoin and Shiba Inu and SafeMoon. But those are community coins, so it makes sense. But Cardano is a household name, yet the community is super, super strong. Cardano has, again, in my mind, the most engaged group of investors. And why that is, I'm not sure. Maybe because it's such a big player and it's so affordable. Maybe because people truly believe in what Charles Hoskinson is doing. Regardless, that community building is getting stronger and stronger by the day, by the week, by the year. And I think that bodes well for Cardano's future. Now, in terms of some price predictions, how long do we have to wait until we get to $100 per token? Well, I'll give you a 2030 number, and this is just one projection here. One projection says it's likely that Cardano will continue to rise, may even reach $50 in 2030. Now, I think we could reach $100 by 2030. That's my personal opinion. I think this year, in 2021, with smart contracts rolling out very soon, come August, September, we don't have an exact date yet. We've been waiting for quite some time on smart contracts with Cardano because they're going through a peer-reviewed process. It's been like since 2017 since they've been working on it. But okay, prediction though, I definitely think we can 5X. I think we can get to seven to $10, somewhere in that range later this year. Now, uh, will I take profits at that point? No, because I am going to continue to buy the dips now and hold through the good times because I am holding until Cardano is not going to reach $10, but I'm holding until it reaches $100. And that is my case as to why you need 10,000 Cardano, uh, acquire as many as you can, in my opinion, because this asset is one to hold on to for the long haul. And uh, let me get your thoughts down below in the comments section. How many Cardano do you have or do you plan on having? Would love to hear from you down there. Also, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video.